Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Lori. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different than what you're used to from me, but I am at the point now where I am going to embrace my gray. So I'm gonna let my roots grow out, as you can see here, well, with a little bit of help. So what I did was I did like a natural treatment. I shot it and like I did it where the natural was somewhat natural because there's still chemicals in head and shoulders, but head and shoulders with vitamin C and oil and I put it on my hair and it did lighten it, but I was trying to get it. There's several ways to grow your hair, hair out gray. The, the best one is to just let it go. Okay, so now you're talking about about 18 months. And my patience level is that of a gnat, so not a good thing. So what I'm gonna do with the help of my amazing stylist is she is going to help sort of blend, I don't know if you can see it up here, but she's gonna help blend me a little bit through here and blend it to where this will probably be the last time of bleach that hopefully I will need on my hair, but it's really gonna have to like bleach a lot of this. And then add like some kind of, I don't know, I'm not a stylist, but add some kind of a toner or a, or a color that's gray, just to, not all the way gray, but just to kind of break it up. She calls them like baby highlights. So let's go do that right now. So she had to put about a gajillion highlights in my hair because we're trying to pull out that skunk area. She never touched my roots, so she stayed away from my roots. Now doing this at home, I also had to put a very fancy bag over my head, as you can see here, and add heat to it to really help doing to deal with the process. So overall, it took about an hour and 10 minutes. Now from here, there were two different toners. One is a sheer toner to pull out any brassiness and you leave that on your hair for a while. And then the second one was the silver, was like the silver highlight. So in the areas where it was highlighted, it was able to give the full dimension, as you can see in this picture here. I was super happy with it. So this is it the next day. And you can see the gray there. So that's the full transition. Now, it is four days later. So here's the thing. Now, I love it. I love it. Like, you can really see, and I don't know if you can really see close, but I want to give you an idea. The skunk line is gone. And this really is pretty much my natural hair. She never touched my roots. And definitely on my temples, I'm grayer. Like, you can see here how it's grayer. But it blends so well because I don't want to have to dye my hair again if I really can help it. And so here's the process of that, meaning how do you take care of it? Because it was so heavily processed to pull a lot of that color out and you could, you saw how much bleach kind of went on there and it was, I guess, a level 40, which is like really high. I don't know. And so my hair is very gentle. So anytime that you get your hair really processed like that, so you do not wash your hair for a week at all. And then when you do wash your hair, you just really get to the roots, right? So when I do wash my hair in a few days, it'll just be down here in the roots and let it, because your hair is kind of like traumatized from it, which is why I don't want to put anything on it again. And my instructions are to also not use a lot of thermal tools. So I don't know if I'm going to dry it. I know I'm not going to like straighten it for a while. So this is probably the straightest it's going to be. And I have really thick hair. So some of my videos might make me look like this okay, for a while, but that's okay because my end goal is to not have to put any more chemicals in my hair and just be kind of natural, you know, and I'm really embracing it. And, you know, you'd be surprised how many people, you know, I've had people go, you don't want to go gray now. It's going to make you look really old. And I'm like, but that's who I am, you know, and I processed my hair for just so long. You know, I've started with bleaching and perms and all of these things for like 30 some years. I think I'm just ready for it to just be natural. I'm just really embracing the gray. And like I said, you can still see some of the line, but it's really blended so much better and I'm just not going to touch it. So if you have questions about going with natural hair or anything else like that, just comment below, like the video, because this is, you know, it's kind of a big step, but there's no one way to transition to your natural hair. For me, I just wanted to expedite it a little bit. Honestly, the safest and healthiest way is to just not touch your hair and just let it grow uh, or have a super short cut. But my cut would be like super short, like this short. So um, I just didn't want to wait. Like the video, it really supports the channel. Subscribe and hit the bell in the corner for a notification. See you soon.